Hello, this is Annette with Project Refine Life. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with a VR to Don Michelle. Now the VR is the decks that I want to work with in 2022. So I chose 10 decks that I really want to dive deep into for this year. Three decks that I'm really going to be diving deep into, not only this year, but probably for a couple of years. The Thoth. So just this morning, I saw a video from Candy, and um, she was comparing the keywords on the Thoth, and I thought, oh, this is going to be so helpful. And I think not only she was more confused by the end of the video, but definitely so was I. She came up with a plan to um, go through all of the decks and write through like a whole map type system of the keywords. So I am very curious to see what she comes up with. But this deck, um, I know Nina at, um, oh my goodness, my brain is just on hiatus right now. Nina over at Shuffle Tarot has tons of videos on the Thoth and I am in one of her Facebook groups for the Thoth. So I will be starting to study this deck, and I know that this is going to be quite the endeavor. So this one I have shared with everybody here before, and this is the Tarot Yohali Iteca. And this is my Mesoamerican deck from My Corazón Mexica. This has so much symbology, and I am so excited to dig into this. But as you can see, with all of these details and all of this symbology, all of these gods and goddesses, you know, there's a lot of homework to be done. And this is not going to be something that I'll be, you know, taking lightly. Now, I'm, I am familiar with a lot of these, but I want to get into the nitty gritty of each and every scene and just to try to go through it as much as I can. This is such a beautiful deck and it's so representative of my heritage and I think it's important for me to just take my time with and dive deep into it. Okay, I'm not going to try to put that away because it'll take too long. Okay, next is the Spirit Keepers Tarot. So because I have some other decks that are ahead, I still have not even ordered the um, Book of Maps, but I will be ordering that as soon um, as I'm ready to, probably within the next month or two. But this, again, is one of those decks that's going to be a long, long study because, again, there is so much symbology here. And I, you know, I'm looking at just these three and I'm thinking, wow, that's a lot of work. <laughs> but um, this again, I think will just open up so many keys for me when it comes to reading tarot in general. So now one that I've already started doing my deep dive work with is, and I've spoken on this deck already, is the Tarot Avataria or Tarot Avataria, Avataria from Gabby Angus West. And this is my Frida deck. Now I love Frida, <laughs> so... I have um, put this deck back in order because, like I said, I'm already doing a deep dive study on this deck, just going one by one. I have um, plenty of literature when it comes to Frida and um, just going deep into this deck. And when I've done a little bit more work, then I will be sharing a complete walkthrough. I'm already writing it up as I'm studying as well. So this is my number one deck that I'm really working on right now. Then this one. I love Jessica Z's work. This is a Story Medicine Tarot, 3rd edition, Baba Yaga's Soup. You know, this is one of the decks that I opened up this year and went, okay, I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> but... Um, and I don't want to take this out of order because I know she puts them in a certain order and I've been trying not to mess that up. Um, this is not at all a traditional deck. So as you can see, um, it does have titles on it. Uh-oh, that's upside down. Okay, 
but this is going to be a deep dive too. And I, I, I'm going to be ordering a couple of books just to get into a different frame of mind when I start to study this deck, but I am anxious to get to work with this deck because I know that this is um, going to be a really powerful deck as well. And I've mentioned this a couple of times as well in some of my videos, the Stunning Tarot, 3rd edition. And I've mentioned, I really miss that I didn't get out <laughs> or in the first edition. So if anybody is just not into the first edition, please let me know. I am taking this year as a low buy year, not a no buy, but a low buy year. But I will be going ahead, going ahead and diving in deeply into this deck this year. I think I'm going to go ahead and order also Don Michelle's Tarot Bound. Um, it's a PDF that she has available on her website. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that just so that I can study this deck and then just really keep well-documented notes. And if I do that with all of these, I think the questions will be a little bit more uniform and then I can add in what I want to add in, in addition to what I feel is necessary for that particular deck. So that's the next one. The Lioness Oracle Tarot. Now, I've already started working with this deck, of course, and I think it is spectacular, but I do want to do some deeper work with this particular deck because I feel like it has a real healing essence to it. Um, and I do specific work with womb healing, and I want to relate this deck to that specific type of of energy work. So this one is going to be a little bit different of a deep dive, but um, I'm going to be working with this deck in regard to womb healing. Okay. Uh, this is, this is such a, a really special deck. This is the lovely Ohm Tarot. Now, I'm a yoga teacher. Like I always say, I'm a yoga teacher. I'm a yoga teacher. I'm a yoga teacher. <laughs> But there are deities in here to work with. There is so much information in this deck as well. And just going through it um, step by step, card by card, is really going to be necessary just so that I can get to the depth um, of this deck. The next is the Mysteries of the Black Madonna. Oh, this, this thing is just, oh my goodness, it's stunning is stunning and it is incredible to me that she did these like dioramas of each and every scene and she's working on the next one. This work is incredible. This is like such a labor of love. I just, I'm amazed at it. And maybe I'm amazed because also, you know, as, as a Mexican, um, there, there's so many little mini altars within my culture, um, on your little home altars, you know, not altars in the way that, that maybe you and I view them, but you know, they usually have like this little place where you have a candle and you have your saints and stuff like that. Maybe not to this extent, but you know, it reminds me of that. So anyhow, there's a lot of depth in this deck as well. And the way that they're titled and the way that the guidebook reads is very, very different than your typical Rider Waite Smith deck. So this is another deck that I'll be diving deep into this year. So as I was saying earlier, the three top decks that I'm doing a really deep dive on are probably going to take me a couple years. And then the rest of them, I'm just really going to take maybe, maybe month by month. We'll see how that works out. And if I need to take longer, then I will. I don't have any specific time frame because I don't plan on going anywhere. I'm right here. Um, all right. The energy archeology span Oracle. This is the only Oracle within all of my decks that I'm planning on doing a really deep dive on this year, because this is just beautiful. And again, because of the energy work that I do and the healing work that I do, I feel like it's really important for me to dive in deep. And this has been a really amazing deck. As you can tell, maybe by my voice, you can hear that there's something going on. This is one of the decks that I use to pull for to get a few answers 
And um, I'm very, very pleased with what it directed me to. So anywho, this is, look at that. Oh my goodness. I just, this deck is beautiful. It's stunning. It really is. And see, she's got sacred geometry in there. And I mean, I just need to tie all of these little things together. So again, just card by card, one by one, diving deep into each one. Okay, I was going to put that away, but I think what I'm going to try to do is just kind of stack these together for you guys real quick. So that's it, guys. That's my 10 decks. And I didn't want to do 12 because, you know, we've got October and that's a really big month for me. October, November, December, um, you know, through October and November, um, I'm really into my Dia de los Muertos type um, altar and dedication time. So I wanted to make it 10. And like I said, some of these are really... Um, lengthy studies. They're going to take, they're going to take a long time and I'm okay with that. Um, if it takes, like I said, if it takes longer then it takes longer and then I just, you know, I just put it out there a little bit more. It's all right. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. So <laughs> here we go. Oh no, no, no. Don't fall apart. Okay. I just wanted to get you guys a clear picture of the things that I am working with this year in depth for 2022. I appreciate you signing on and watching me if you enjoyed the content or do you have any of these decks that you're thinking of, or do you have any of these that you've done an in-depth study of? Let me know, but I appreciate you. If you like the content, please like, please subscribe. I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful and blessed day.